Leonard, you are still the best in the world. I need your help. The plot thickens. The Catledge family are socialised in the south of France. There's a woman who has them believing she's a spirit medium. You are the greatest debunker of fake spiritualists. She won't fool me. Sophie looked into my eyes and told me things about me she could never have known. I'm told she's very pleasant to look at. She's a visionary and a vision. I'm getting a mental impression. Are you from the Orient? The Far East? Considering you are Wailing Sue, say that's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> You're a very clever little humbug. I think you'll trick me into showing you how I deceive people. Stanley doesn't believe in spiritualists. He thinks you're all scoundrels. She's quite likable, even if she is a fraud. My mental impressions are cloudy. Are they cumulus clouds or cirrus? You're making fun of me. Mr. Tavern is rather obnoxious, but it's not entirely unappealing. I understand you're holding a seance tonight. The planets are in alignment. Now, I will summon the unseen world. Give us a sign. The more I watch her, the more I'm stumped. Could she be real? I'm beginning to question my own common sense. You've always been so certain about the world, and I've always tried to teach you that we don't know. Tell me something about my Aunt Vanessa's colorful past. I see a member of Parliament. Go on. A love affair. You cannot possibly know this. I'm overwhelmed, Sophie. I never dreamed you could look this beautiful. I believe that the dull reality of life is all there is, but you are proof that there's more, more mystery, more magic. You're gonna die! Run! My aunt used to bring me here as a boy. The roof opens up and see the universe. It's menacing. You find that menacing? I'd say it was pretty romantic.